What is going on guys? Welcome back. In today's video, we're going to learn how to build professional command line applications using click in Python. So let us get right into it. All right, so click is a Python module that allows us to build custom and professional command line applications in a very simple way without caring about all the implementation details. So we don't need to handle arguments, we don't need to handle options and all these things manually, we can just say, here's a function, this is the functionality, annotate this as a command, add some arguments, add some options, and then click does everything for us, we just need to implement the basic uh, functionality of the function, we don't need to care about all the command line uh, interaction stuff. So for example, if you have, uh, I'm going to add this here as a comment, if you have a simple program, my program, uh, usually what you do is you call a functionality, for example, uh, my function or my functionality, then you say dash dash name, something dash dash uh, other thing, something and then maybe some tags like dash L dash K something like that. Handling all this manually would require more time than just using click. So you can just use click to automatically add these arguments and handle them properly. And for that, we're going to start by installing click, we're going to say pip install click. And then once you have that, you can just say import click. And we will start with a very, very simple um, example here. In this video, we're going to build a to do list example, but I want to start with a simple hello world or hello user in this case. So what we want to have is we want to have a function hello, that takes a name and we want to greet the user. So we want to print onto the screen hello neural nine or hello, Mike, hello, Sarah, something like that. Um, and what we do in click instead of using print is we use click dot echo. And uh, for example, here, I can say hello, name, like this. However, this alone is not enough to register hello as a command and to also register name as an argument or an option. So we need to add the annotations here. First of all, click so add click dot command to make this into a command and then also click dot option. And here we then define the option uh, parameter or the, the option string. So in this case, dash dash name. And also we can specify here a bunch of things like what happens if this parameter was not shown to the uh, was not entered by the by the user, we can do something like the prompt is then uh, enter your name, something like this, if we don't specify it already with the tags. Uh, and then we can also add a help message, something like the name of the user. Like that. Now, this here, we can now go ahead and say, um, as far as I know, how did we do that? We said if underscore underscore name is main, and then here, we can just say, uh, hello, as far as I know, or am I mistaken? Now, let's see if that works. If not, we will adjust. But we're not going to run this now from Python here, we're going to go into the command line, we're going to say terminal, uh, we're going to navigate to the directory, and we're going to say main.py and dash dash name neural nine, for example, and here you can see hello neural nine at work, uh, we can also just say main py and you will see that it then wants a name, for example, Mike. Um, so we should delete the colon here because it already adds a colon automatically. But you can see it asks for a name Mike Sarah, hello, Sarah. And we can also provide name, whatever this works. Um, but we cannot provide just anything. So then it says no such option, we can say main py help, this is also a feature of click, we can say main dot py dash dash help to see what we have here, it says, okay, we have the option name, which is text, this is the name of the user, this is exactly what we've written here. And um, the help message shows this message here. So that's the, the most basic thing that we can do here with click, we're going to now build a to do application um, that we're going to use, we're going to build a to do application in the command line using click. So we're going to be able to add to do items, we're going to be able to delete existing to do items, and we're going to be able to uh, list to do items, and we're going to add the twist of having priorities. So we have to do items with different priorities, uh, which can be specified as arguments or options. 
So let's start with a very simple thing. Let's say we have the function add to do. By the way, don't be confused. I have some notes on my second screen so that I don't forget the notation uh, and the code. But um, yeah, we say def add to do. And here we want to have now some information, the name of the to do, the description of the to do, the priority of the to do and also the to do file. So which file are we going to write the to do's into? Um, and all this now all these parameters need to now be connected with click. So we're going to start by saying at click dot command to register add to do as a command. And then we're going to say click dot argument. And we're going to say, okay, the first argument will be um, the priority here, the priority will be of a certain type and the type now that we're going to define is going to be click dot choice. And here we now need to provi uh, provide the uh, pr a priority list or the priority sequence. And for that, of course, we need to first create it. So we're going to say here, uh, priorities, priorities, like that is going to be a simple dictionary, O is going to be an optional to do, then low is going to be a low priority to do M is going to be a medium to do H is going to be a high importance high priority to do and C is going to be crucial, you have to do it now. So we can just say now that the value that we take as priority has to be part of priorities dot keys. So it has to be either O L M H C otherwise it doesn't work. So this is a positional argument. If we don't provide priority, we want to have a default value that is M so that we have a medium priority here. Um, what's the problem here? I think this should actually work if I'm not mistaken. So we're just going to ignore it. If it produces some problems, we're going to fix it later on. Um, then what we do is we say click dot argument, we're going to have another argument, this is going to be the to do file. So the file that we're going to store the to do's into and this is going to be a uh, click, the type is going to be click dot path. And this path has uh, doesn't have to exist. So we can say uh, exists equals false. If we set exists to true, we can only provide a path where uh, where the file already exists. So with that setting right here, I can also create new files. So I can provide a path that does not exist yet. So I can create a new file. If I set exists to true, this type here has to be a file that exists. So this might make sense for deleting later on or for listing, but for creating doesn't have to exist. So I think the default is false, though. So I don't think that we need to uh, pass this here, but I'm going to pass this here for clarity to specify this explicitly. And it's not required. So we're going to say required equals zero, just so we know that we don't have to specify a to do file if we don't want to. Then we're going to add two options. The options are going to be uh, the name of the to do and the description. So click option dash n. So we can say either dash n or dash dash name both is fine. Then we're going to say prompt enter the to do name. And the help is going to be the name of the to do item. Then we can copy that and say dash D or dash dash desk, or you can also say description, whatever you want. And then we're going to say here, um, describe the to do here we can say the description of the to do item. So now we have all these parameters. And now we all only have to write the code. So this is some simple code, we're going to say file name is equal to to do file if to do file is not none. Else my to do to do's.txt. I think this should also be possible with a default value. But uh, I decided to show you the required keyword here and the default here. Um, but this is how we can do it as well. So we can say if the to do file is provided, take it otherwise just take my to do's as the default value. And then we can say with open my to do's dot oh, not my to do sorry, open file name in appending plus mode, basically meaning we append to the file, but if it doesn't exist, we create it as well. This is going to be the file f and we say f write and the format of our to do strings is going to be 
uh, the name of the to do followed by the description of the to do after a colon. And then we're going to have the priority uh, that we have here. So priority priority, uh, but actually not priority because this is just a letter, we're going to say priorities priority. So we're going to get the actual value behind the letter behind the key. So that is already one functionality. I hope I didn't make any mistakes. But this is the full function here. Then let's move on to the delete function. So delete underscore to do. And here we're going to have now uh, just the index. So we're going to have an index for each to do. Let's register this first as a command. So click command and um, at click argument is going to be the index argument type is going to be integer. And it's going to be required because otherwise we don't know what we want to delete. So we're going to set required to one. And then the function here is just open my to do's dot txt in reading mode sf. Now, this assumes we don't want to pass a file here again, we can also pass a file here if we want to, I'm just going to implement this now as uh, the leading from this file only because the goal here is not to build a fully functioning to do application, but to show you the different things that we can do here. And since I already used the argument, and the path here, we don't need to do it again, I'm just going to use it like that. Um, we're going to say here that the to do list is equal to file dot read dot split lines. So after each line break, we're going to have a new item. And what we want to do is want to say to do list dot pop the respective index. And then we want to write the changes. So we want to open it again, my to do's txt in writing mode as f now this is important, we want to open it in writing mode, not in appending mode, because we want to overwrite everything we want to replace the file with new text, we want to get the text of the file, we want to open it and replace everything with the um, new content here. So we say f write uh, backslash n join. So we join on the backslash n character, the whole to do list that is still there. And then we add another backslash n at the end. There you go. So this is the delete function. And then last but not least, let's add the list function. So we want to have a list underscore to do's function. And here we want to have a bunch of parameters as well. We want to have the or not a bunch one have two parameters one have priority and a to do file, so that we know, first of all, which file do we want to read from and then also, uh, we want to filter based on priority. So we want to only see to do's of a certain priority unless uh, we don't have a priority specified, then just list all of them. So again, register it as a command, then um, say option is going to be the priority, we can say dash p or dash dash priority here. And the priority that we can pass here again is going to be type. Um, what was it click dot choice priorities dot keys. And that is essentially it. And then we're going to add here also the argument to do file. And this argument is going to be uh, the file path again. Now this time, we want to have it with exists equals to true. So click dot path exists equals true because we cannot list the to do's of a non existing file. So whenever we pass a path that does not exist, this function will not trigger. Um, and required is zero because we will take the default again if we don't provide a file. And the list function will now do the following the file name is going to be to do file if to do file is not none else again, my to do's txt. And then we're going to say open the file name that we have now in reading mode as f and get the to do list to do list is equal to f read dot split line so that we get the individual items again. And then we're going to say, okay, if the priority is equal to, uh, or actually is none, if the priority is none, we're going to say for index and to do 
in enumerate, we print the index so that we know uh, which item to delete. So we want a list and then we know, okay, this is index one, two, three, and so on. And then the delete function, uh, when, when calling the delete function, we know what to delete. Uh, we want to enumerate a to-do list and we want to print, um, first of all, we want to print the index. So index like this, and then the to-do item separated by a dash. So just to do. Um, so we print everything if priority is not none. So if we have a priority specifies, what we want to do is we want to say index to do in enumerate uh, to do list. Now we want to enumerate here as well, because we don't want to lose the original indices, just because we filter out some values. So we still want to have one, five, seven, and not one, two, three, just because we have three elements, we want to have the correct indices that we can also use in the delete function. Um, and here we just say, okay, if um, and now we can craft a string here, if uh, what what is it? What does it look like in the file? We wrote it as this as priority. So we can check if this string here is in there. So we can say if priority, we cannot just check for the individual letters, because then we would have the problem if just the letter uh, H for high, for example, occurs, then it's going to occur in a lot of to do's because H is a letter that is used uh, also in different contexts. But here we can just say, okay, if priority, and then uh, basically priorities, priority, or also also the word high or medium can be used in different to do's. So it's not clear that this will be only used for priority. But if that string here is part of the to do, then we can print it without problems, essentially just copying this line here. So that should work as well. Those are now the three functions. Again, this is the add function, this is the delete function, this is the list to do's, uh, list to do's function. And now in order to be able to use all these functions, because here, remember, we call just one function, we need to group them by using a clip click group. So what we have to do is we have to go up here and say click dot group. And we can say def my commands. And we can just leave this empty by adding a pass. And then what we do is before we do anything else, we just go down here and say, my commands dot add command. And here we pass now, uh, we don't have hello anymore, do we? Uh, oh, we do have hello. Okay, so let's add hello as well. And let's do the same thing here for add to do for delete to do and for uh, list to do to do's. And then we just run my commands. And that should be it. Now I'm not sure if I didn't make any mistakes. But if I didn't make any mistakes, this should now work. So I can navigate to the directory. Um, and I can say main.py. And first of all, help. And you can see here the commands that we have are add to do delete to do hello list to do's. I think also if I say now add to do and then dash dash help, this should also give me the help for the respective function. So here you can see name description. So if I say main.py add to do without passing anything, I can say, okay, new to do item. Hello world is the description. Uh, and we do have a problem, unexpected keyword argument desk. Uh, yeah, because I call the description here and desk in the option. But besides that, this should not be a problem. So let's see again, new item test. Name description is not defined. Okay, I call the description here as well. So desk. Let's go again, new item test. And now we should have, uh, I forgot to close the bracket, I think. Let's do it one more time. Let's delete this file here. Run it again. My to do item. This is my first item. Now, if I open up the file, you can see my to do item. This is my first item priority medium. Uh, if I now do the same thing here, but I specify dash dash name, and I say, okay, uh, I think we need to pass what was it was it back ticks, or just single quotations, let's see. Uh, 
test to do item. Does it work like that? Okay, no, it doesn't work like that. So maybe just ordinary quotation marks. There you go. Uh, then it takes it and then for the description, this is one more. This also works now. Uh, but we forgot to add a backslash in this is a problem. So we want to write that in a backslash and in the end, you can see that I make mistakes here. So let's do it again. Test. And then let's run the same thing again with the same name with some other description. And then you can see now it works, we have priority medium, and we have the name and we have the description. Now, if I do the same thing, and I also provide the description desk, uh, just another one, maybe we should change the name though, so that we have different names. Another name. Uh, and then I can also specify here in the end as a positional argument, just an H to say this is high priority. So now you can see another name, just another one priority high because I passed an H. Uh, what else did we have here? We had the to do file. So I can also pass another positional argument. Um, but for this one, I also have to pass a priority since it's an argument, this one comes first, this one comes after that. So um, yeah, I have to pass both of them. But I can say, for example, another file.txt. And this will create another file with a to do item in here. Let's see if the other functions work. Let's see what happens if I say um, list to do's main py list to do's, then you can see it takes the default file 012. And if I now filter for uh, this doesn't work too well. So let me add another to do first. If I add now another one with the priority medium, well, let's change it up a little bit. So let's say the description is something doesn't really matter. And the name is number four, so that we know that it's number four. And now in the file here, we have one, two, three medium, but still this one has index four. So if we list it, we should be able to see the correct index. Uh, of course, if I filter based on priority, so dash PM, and you can see here, I get 013 instead of 012. Because the two was deleted the two was uh, not printed, but we still have the right index here. So the list function works as well. What else did we have? Uh, here in terms of functionality, we had a to do file as well. So I can also say, um, just as an argument here, another file dot txt. And you can see this works. But if I provide something else here, it says invalid value path does not exist because we have exists equals true. This does work for at doesn't work for list. And now last but not least, let's see what happens. Um, let me just list this again here, I can now say, delete, delete to do. And let's say I want to delete two, or actually one. Then I want to list again. And you can see now I have zero one two. So the indices are, again, um, properly aligned, but you can see that this item here disappeared. So this is how you build a custom professional command line application using click in Python. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.